Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be walking you through step-by-step, -step, showing you everything that you need to know in regards to affiliate marketing. This is gonna be one of my favorite videos. It's gonna be a little bit longer, so I recommend taking out a pen, taking out a piece of paper, and starting to write down some of these different things that we discuss in this video, because this is gonna be A to Z, everything that you need to know about affiliate marketing, the best practices, the strategies, the best products to promote, the best niches, uh, and then some other different tips in there as well. Uh, I hate that I have to say this, but I have to make this disclaimer. Uh, we're not selling anything here, okay? There, there's no sales pitch. You don't have to worry about halfway through, we say, oh, if you wanna find the secret sauce, then buy our $1,000 course. There's, there's none of that. Uh, we have nothing to sell. We don't sell anything. Um, and so, uh, I just wanna make that very clear before we get into this, because I feel like I watch so many videos online and I, I get excited about something. I watch a tutorial, then halfway through, there's some big sales pitch. You don't need to pay any money to learn how to do this. Uh, this is totally free. I never paid a single penny to learn how to do affiliate marketing. Uh, and I like to think that we've done pretty well with affiliate marketing. I mean, we make uh, thousands of dollars per month uh, with affiliate marketing from some of our different websites and our YouTube channels and our other media platforms. We'll talk about all of those. I'm not saying that to brag. It's just to kind of hopefully establish a little bit of credibility uh, maybe you recognize me from one of my other YouTube channels, which is the Nate O'Brien brand, which just crossed over a million subscribers last week. So a little bit excited about that. Uh, hopefully that doesn't sound like I'm, I'm bragging or something. It's, it's just time, hopefully establish a little bit more credibility here. So, you know, I'm just not some random guy talking about this here. Uh, although I guess I still am kind of random either way. Okay. Take out a pen, take out a piece of paper uh, and let's get started with it, with this talking about affiliate marketing and how you can make money with this. Okay, so this is one of my favorite business opportunities for anyone. And you know, when people come up to me and they ask me, Nate, what should I do to start a business? How should I make my money? I always say affiliate marketing. And there's a reason for this. Because with affiliate marketing, there does not need to be any startup cost. You don't have to worry about business expenses. You don't have to worry about profitability or profit margins. Because with affiliate marketing, the way that it functions is, you really don't have very many expenses. So you can get started with this for $0, although I would recommend maybe having a budget of like $100 because you might want to start a website for your affiliate marketing or maybe you wanna buy a camera or maybe you want to buy some different equipment to kind of jumpstart you a little bit. But for the most part, you know, you can start this for $0 or maybe a couple hundred dollars if you really want to put some money into it uh, for this. This is why I love it. There's no startup costs, you don't have to pay money. And like I said, you don't have to pay for any courses. I think those are just totally a waste of money in my personal opinion, because there's so much free information out there in the world. And there's really not anything to lose. I mean, if, if you don't have to put money into this and you can start this for totally free, then I think this is a great business to start because what's gonna happen? Maybe you put in some time and you don't get that time back because it maybe it didn't work out. But it's not like you are putting money into starting a hot dog stand down the road and then you lose a lot of money because you had a loan for it and you, you lost a ton of money. With affiliate marketing, you can try it and if it doesn't work out, maybe you just walk away with not making much money, but it's not like you lost a lot. That's sort of my philosophy on it and why I think it's a great thing to start with. So let's just briefly go over what affiliate marketing is for those of you who don't know. Uh, what this is or how it functions, and then we'll go far more in depth uh, later on in this video. Okay, so affiliate marketing, the basics of understanding this uh, is that you are not actually the person who owns products, but you are just marketing them for a company. So I'll give you an example here, and hopefully this can really be clarified for most people. Okay, let's say that uh, Nike is, is selling shoes, right? I think we all know that. They sell shoes, they sell clothing. So what we can do as affiliate marketers is we can go and we can market these Nike products on our website or on our YouTube channel or on our Discord or our Facebook group or our TikTok, whatever it might be, we can market products for other businesses uh, and then we get special links, we get custom links from those business uh, that tracks when people click on our link and goes to that business and then if that person buys from that business, we then get a commission or a piece of the pie from that company. Hopefully I, I explained that properly. If, if I didn't, then just stick around for another minute and I think it'll all make sense here. But essentially what's happening is we are promoting products for other businesses and in return for promoting those products, we are getting some of the commission. We are getting some of the revenue uh, from the sales of those products. So uh, for example, uh, sometimes I promote uh, VPN services, right? Or I might promote LifeLock or some different types of services on my, U on my YouTube channel. Uh, and every time that somebody clicks on a special 
link that is designated for me that I've talked to that company and we have gotten a designated link just from me. When somebody clicks on that and then they buy something through that link that, that they have clicked on, I then will get a commission for sending them over there. Now, hopefully that makes sense there, but let me actually show you a little bit more in detail here. Let's take a look at my YouTube channel and I'll show you what I mean by this, okay? So here we have my YouTube channel and for any video that you might see here, let, let, let's go down and let's look at uh, perhaps, uh, let's say that we wanna look at this video about my investment portfolio, right? So if we go down into the description here, we'll see a couple of different, what we call affiliate links. And these affiliate links uh, is how I make money with affiliate marketing, okay? So the first one here is Robinhood, which I don't really promote them anymore ever since they had that big problem back in January, 2021 here. But um, Robinhood here, for example, when somebody clicks on my link and says, get a free stock when you open an account with Robinhood, if somebody clicks on this right here, it then takes them to the Robinhood landing page. And at this point, uh, if they sign up for Robinhood, I will then get money from Robinhood for bringing them a new customer. So this is how affiliate marketing works. It can go a little bit more in depth. It can get a little bit more complicated. You can see some other ones here as well. Like for example, uh, I, I have one for life insurance on my channel. And so if people click on this one right here, which is natobrian.com slash ladder, I'll show you how to get these custom links as well. You'll probably wanna know how to do that. It takes you to Ladder's website, and then if somebody fills this out, then I get money from Ladder for sending over a potential customer uh, to that company. So that's how affiliate marketing works. And what's great about this is that you don't have to use a YouTube channel. You don't have to use a blog. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to basically get link clicks and get conversions through your special link that you get from a company. Now you might be asking, how do you get this link from a company? I'll show you how to do that. Uh, there's different ways to do that, but what we call these are affiliate networks. Hopefully you're writing this down as well um, so that you can uh, really gain something out of this video here today. One more great benefit to affiliate marketing is that we don't have to deal with some of the things that most businesses have to uh, allocate time for. Like for example, dealing with customers who maybe are unhappy with a product or maybe your product breaks and then the customer is not happy, they want a refund or they want a new product. Uh, as an affiliate marketer, our goal here is to just market the product for the business, send the customer over there, and once the customer is at the company, that's the company's thing to deal with. So uh, trust me, I've run physical product companies in the past, I've run other companies in the past as well, and I can tell you that affiliate marketing is probably the most hands-off uh, out of any of these because we just have to worry about getting the customer to the front door, and once they're in the door, uh, then it's not really our problem anymore. I don't know if I should word it as problem because uh, I wanna bring up another clear point here which is that as an affiliate marketer, it's very important to take your integrity very seriously. Uh, I think this is something that is sort of a problem here where affiliate marketing sort of gets a bad rap because there's a lot of just scammy, scummy people uh, in this industry who will promote bad products uh, and they know that they're not good products, but they'll promote them anyway, just so that they can make some money. Don't be this person, I don't do this. Uh, for example, if there's a product that you know is just, it's not good, uh, you should not be promoting it because that's, first of all, it's, it's not morally correct, uh, but also what's gonna happen is your viewers or your readers or wherever else people are seeing your information and finding your link, they're not gonna trust you very much. If they see you promoting products that turn out to not be very good products, they're not gonna be repeat listeners, repeat watchers, watchers, repeat um, um, readers. And so you can end up losing those people who are viewing your content or, or reading your content. Uh, and it's, it's just gonna be a bad situation overall. So make sure out of all of this, that if you ever promote products with affiliate marketing, that you actually use those products yourself or you like those products, or you've at least done your due diligence to read other reviews and see what other people are saying about the product and have a good understanding of whether this is actually something that you want to attach your name to, or if it's just a crap product, because trust me, there's a lot of crap products out there uh, that I would never touch and I would never promote just because they are not very good. Okay, so we've talked about why affiliate marketing can be a great opportunity. We've also identified what affiliate marketing is, but now let's talk about how to find products. How do you find niches? What types of products can we promote? And also, how much can we actually expect to make with affiliate marketing? Um, so let's start off with understanding the different types of products that we can promote. And the big easy answer here is that most companies, most products will have an affiliate program. It probably already exists. 
And I would say that probably 80% of companies out there uh, that do uh, uh, B2C, which is basically just for consumers, uh, they are going to have some type of affiliate program. The best way to find this is just do a quick Google search, right? So you can just Google Nike affiliate program or Adidas affiliate program um, and see if a product that maybe you want to promote uh, already has that program available. You might be able to find it that way. But if you aren't finding it that way, there are going to be three different affiliate networks that I wanna share with you in this video uh, that I use on a daily basis to find new products to promote. And those three different affiliate networks are Amazon Associates, it's gonna be a fun one, uh, we have Impact and we have CJ.com. Each one of these is a great way to find products to promote and also get a better understanding of the whole landscape uh, that we're looking at and, and looking at the different prices uh, and the different amounts of money that we can make with affiliate marketing. So let's first start with Amazon Associates. I really think this is sort of like a rite of passage for any affiliate marketer. Uh, this is the first affiliate program that I joined and this is promoting products that are already on Amazon and we're getting a commission for this. So I can pull up the fee schedule here. Let me do that right now. So we can sign up for Amazon Associates uh, and what we're gonna have here is if we get a special link, which can be to any Amazon product at all, you know, you find a product on Amazon that you like, you can get a link directly to that product through your Amazon Associates dashboard and then when people click on it, you can end up making money if they buy anything on Amazon within the next 24 hours because they clicked on your link and it's tracked via cookies or there's some other ways to track. Um, but here is the fee schedule. This is what we can make with Amazon Associates. Uh, and it does vary on the type of product and the category that it is in, right? So if somebody buys a physical book through our specific Amazon link, we can get four and a half percent commission from the sale of that book. So four and a half percent of maybe a $20 book would be about what? About um, 80 cents of a commission that we would get from selling that book. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot of money, but if we can get thousands of people to buy this book, then it starts to add up to thousands of dollars. And you can see this is simply just a numbers game, right? But let's go through here and let's look at the different products and see what we can actually make from Amazon Associates. Uh, if we're selling beauty products, luxury, beauty products, uh, we can end up getting a 10% commission uh, from getting people to those products. So if we sell $1,000 worth of luxury beauty products uh, because somebody clicked on our link and they bought $1,000 worth of luxury beauty products on Amazon, we could get a 10% commission on that, which would be $100 in our pocket. I know actually uh, my brother Mike does this a lot with different types of tech reviews. He does tech reviews for some of his blogs, but also for some of his YouTube channels. And he can end up selling cameras that cost $2,000 on Amazon. And he's getting a commission uh, from that for anywhere between, it looks like two and a half percent if he's promoting computers, uh, up to some higher numbers as well, right? About 4% for other items. So, you know, if he's selling a $2,000 camera and he's getting a 4% commission on that, he might be making $80 uh, when every time that somebody clicks on his link and then buys a camera through his link. So you can see how this can really end up making you a lot of money. I highly suggest signing up for Amazon Associates because it's probably going to be the best and easiest way to get your feet wet with affiliate marketing. Um, so you can just Google Amazon Associates or I will leave a link to it down below as well if you want to sign up for Amazon Associates and just kind of explore some of the different products. Because let's go over here, let's click on product links and we can actually just go through and, you know, let's say that we want to promote um, this book called The Intelligent. You know what? How about we want to promote a uh, Canon uh, EOS R, which is the camera that I use right now. So let's say that you wanted to pick up this camera and start filming videos. Well, uh, I can promote it right here. And here's one with 8K video for $3,899. I can get the link right here and I can shorten it and I can highlight it. And boom, just like that, I now have this link. And if you click on this link, I will then get credit for any purchase that you make through Amazon in the next 24 hours. It's pretty cool. I don't think you're gonna wanna miss out on something like this. And it's free to sign up for Amazon Associates. There's no cost uh, to that. So once again, you know, you don't have to worry about spending money on anything. Now, 
Besides Amazon Associates, there are two other ones that I really like finding products on. And these two other platforms, these two other affiliate networks, uh, they have thousands of different products on them. And from what I found, they actually end up paying a lot more money because Amazon, the fee schedule, it's still pretty low. I mean, you know, you're only making between one and 10% for every item that you are selling or that you are getting people to buy through your affiliate link. Uh, let me just show you though, actually what we've made on Amazon in the past uh, month or so. You know, in the past 30 days, we've made $350 uh, through Amazon. So it, it, this might be a lot of money to some people, but overall, when you're looking at the broad scale of things for the amount of clicks that we are getting driven to Amazon, this actually isn't very good. Um, and I say this because, you know, if you're making $350, but you are getting thousands of clicks, right from 5,000 clicks, we've made $350. That's not very good. Um, there are better ones that if you're getting 5,000 clicks, you can make thousands of dollars, okay? So just about perspective, I don't wanna make it sound like $350 is not a lot of money because I know you know that's still pretty good. I mean, you can probably pay some of your rent with that. So it's still pretty nice to have. Um, but let's go over and let's look at impact. Impact radius is what it's called. This is just impact.com. This is another affiliate platform that you can find different companies on. So let's go over and let's take a look at that now. Okay, so now we are on impact.com. Uh, we have created an account. Uh, this is for one of my other brands here. Um, but you can just see how many different categories we have for products that we can promote. I would recommend just going through and finding different products and seeing, you know, is this something that I think my audience would like? Or is this something that I think I could find a way to promote this via maybe paid ads even. We have videos about paid ads and how to make money with that. Um, or maybe you want to have organic traffic. But what I would suggest doing is going through and finding a couple of different products or industries. One of my favorites actually is education. I think education is a great one. Um, but also, you know, perhaps maybe, you know, you're looking through this and you think that organic and eco-friendly would just be right up your alley. Maybe you have some type of publication or you have a website where you talk about, uh, you know, being uh, sustainable, right? And, and, and making sure that you are staying healthy. So let's go through here and see if we recognize any of these brands. What's this right here? Look, we have Burt's Bees right here and they're offering a 10% commission for every uh, purchase that gets purchased through Burt's Bees. Now, let's look at the details here and we can see actually something really cool. And this is that uh, it says 30 days right here. Now, 30 days, what this means is that if somebody clicks on your link and they maybe don't buy something right away, but they clicked on your link on uh, mid-February, right? but they don't actually buy anything for 29 days. But on day number 29, they decide to buy something through your link. Well, because this is a 30 day cookie period, if they buy something on day number 29, like a month after they clicked on your link, you can still end up getting the credit for that sale and still getting money for that sale because it was within this 30 day window that Burt's Bees allows. So it does depend on the company. We call this cookie length. Uh, sometimes the cookie length for companies uh, is only 24 hours. Like your Amazon affiliate links will only have a 24 hour cookie length versus some of these other companies that might have a 30 day cookie length or a 90 day cookie length, um, which is going to determine, you know, how long after somebody clicks on your link, are you still eligible to, to get a, a um, um, basically credit for getting that sale? So even if they click on your link and then they don't buy anything for 29 days, but on day number 29, they buy something, you can end up getting the money for it. So it's, it's pretty cool to see something like that. Um, but I would suggest going through and you know just kind of looking at the different amounts of money that are, are being offered for some of these different products and see if something really just lines up uh, for your industry or for your niche. Here's one that I actually like a lot five-star nutrition, let's say that you have a fitness uh, YouTube channel or you have a fitness website or you have a fitness Facebook group. So five-star nutrition is a great one for people who maybe are in that fitness industry. Uh, if we look at the different rates that they're offering, it's between 10 and 20% commission uh, for sales that you get through them with a 30-day cookie window. Now with impact, we can also see the average 30-day earnings per click for the affiliates who are already working with this company, Five Star Nutrition. And then we can see that the average earnings per click or EPC is $2.02. .02. That's actually really good. Um, and so this means that if the average affiliate with Five Star Nutrition, let's say that they're getting 100 clicks, 
for 100 clicks, they might end up getting $202 uh, in total because they've driven 100 clicks. It obviously varies depending on the type of traffic that you are getting to, right? If you are um, promoting this company to 12-year-olds who don't have any money, you're, you're probably not gonna get a lot of conversions with that versus if you're promoting this to highly targeted uh, weightlifters who are already uh, looking for different types of uh, supplements and, and different types of vitamins. Um, so, you know, you wanna think about who you're promoting products to as well, making sure that you're targeting the correct audience so that you can get a proper high earnings per click. Um, so, you know, go through and search through Impact, find some different brands that you think are pretty cool that maybe perhaps uh, you could promote. And then if you find them, you just click apply and you go through, you apply, and then you either get accepted or rejected for that affiliate program. Uh, there is an important part here though that uh, determines whether you actually get accepted into these affiliate programs. Um, and what determines that is they look at your website or they look at your YouTube channel and they see the type of traffic that you are bringing, right? Um, and so this is why I think it's really important to build a website. Uh, I'll leave a link to one that we use down below, which is this Hostinger. You can create a website with there uh, on there with WordPress for like a couple of dollars per month. It's pretty inexpensive uh, and we're partnered with them. It's actually an affiliate link to be honest. So if you find value in this video, we would appreciate if you built a website using that link, but you know, don't, don't feel the pressure to, you don't have to. It would just uh, help us out a little bit and help keep this video free. Um, um, so this is one of the different affiliate networks. The third one that I want to show you is called CJ. So this used to be called Commission Junction. They just call it CJ now. So it's uh, cj.com. And this affiliate network also is very similar to Impact. They have a number of reputable brands that you probably already recognize uh, who basically run their affiliate program through this network. Uh, so they have thousands of different companies on here. So let's just kind of look at some of the different, um, you know, things that we've made. Uh, this one is actually, I believe, for my personal brand, the one that I'm logged into here. But looking at, you know, last month, I made about $5,300 uh, in affiliate commissions, in profit, in my pocket, um, and I, I, I don't want to like show this to, to brag. That's not the point here. I just wanted to show you like it's very possible to make money with affiliate marketing, uh, and this is just one of the programs that I'm in, right? So this is CJ.com, uh, and we can go through and look at different advertisers. So let's click up here and let's look at different advertisers uh, and perhaps find one that we think could be a great fit for our brand. So let's go through here and um, let's just scroll through and see what we can find here. You're probably gonna recognize some of these, right? 23andMe, maybe you recognize 23andMe, it's that DNA test to see sort of where your ancestors are from or what heritage you might have. Um, and so we can apply to the program right here, we can get a link for it pretty easily, pretty quickly. Um, and so, you know, we're still on A here, we're looking at AAA, uh, we're still scrolling, and so you can just see how many companies there really are on here. And I can nearly guarantee that you're gonna find some companies on CJ.com or on Impact.com or on Amazon Associates that you can decide to start promoting. But let's say that you found these, right? Maybe you found a product, you say, this lines up perfectly, I'm gonna promote Adidas, or I'm gonna promote uh, this VPN, or I'm gonna promote 23andMe, or Five Star Nutrition. Once you find the things that you want to promote, you need to think about how you're actually getting people to click on your special link, on your affiliate link. How are you going to do this? And this leads us into how to get traffic and how to get link clicks, which is the next section of this video. Okay, this is one of my favorites. I love marketing. I, I spend all day every day just thinking about this. So hopefully I don't nerd out too much on you here. But once again, I, I hope you're writing some of this down. Okay, so when thinking about how to get people to click on our link, there's two primary strategies here. There's free traffic and there's paid traffic. Sometimes people also refer to free traffic as organic traffic versus paid traffic. Now what is the best way to do this? Well, we've done both. We have created blogs, we have created YouTube channels and different media outlets uh, that are totally free. We don't pay any money for that, right? We, we just have them totally free. And then the paid traffic is running ads. So you can actually run ads with your affiliate link and make money basically sort of kind of uh, with certain profit margins that are not as great, but still it's possible. Uh, let's you know use an example. Uh, if you Google uh, best bank accounts, you'll probably notice a bunch of different ads that'll pop up before you actually get to the actual things that you search for, right? Some of those ads can be affiliate links. They can be affiliate websites. Um, but overall, we like to use free traffic. I do 
have a couple of uh, ad tutorials. I have some Facebook ad tutorials, Instagram ad tutorials, and Google ad tutorials on this YouTube channel. So if you wanna check those out, feel free to go and look at those. If you want to run paid ads with your affiliate links, you can do it sometimes. You just have to make sure you read the terms of service uh, for those different affiliate programs because a lot of companies don't want you running ads with your affiliate link uh, on that company's name. It, it gets kind of complicated, um, but it, it, it is still something that, you know, sometimes people do decide to run ads for their affiliate links and just kind of force traffic there. The problem here is that it costs you money, right? Uh, and especially in the beginning, if you are running ads to your website or you're running ads to something that maybe contains affiliate links, um, this costs you money. And you have to do a lot of split testing, a lot of A-B testing to figure out the best types of ads. So overall, I would not recommend starting with it. We run some paid ads, but it's only because we're profitable because of our free traffic. And now we can afford to run some paid ads for, for some of our different affiliate products that we promote. So for this video, we're really gonna focus on free traffic, how to get free traffic to your links. Um, and traditionally, you know, sometimes when I watch these affiliate marketing videos, cause I've, I've done my research um, and I've, I've watched these affiliate marketing videos for years, I will see people say that the best way to do this is to put your links on forums, like go onto Quora or like go onto other Facebook groups and just like put your link everywhere and just paste your link everywhere that you can get uh, people to click on it. I would not recommend doing this. You don't wanna spam people with your affiliate link. Don't be that person. Nobody likes that person. Um, and so you wanna do this selectively and you know, sort of going in and getting people to click on your link without be doing it in, in a deceptive manner. You want this to be very natural. You want this to be organic. So a great way to do that, for example, um, is to get some type of organic traffic or free traffic from building on different types of social media or ranking for search. So the easiest way to do this is with a blog. I'm actually gonna show you how to build a website and how to set up a blog because I think regardless of where you're getting your traffic from, you need a website to funnel people back to where you can then paste your affiliate links on that website on that landing page, right? So let's look at nateobryan.com here and you can see that for my uh, personal brand, you know, what, when I talk about things on my YouTube channel, I actually send people over to my resources page on my website, which then has different types of investing apps, right? This is an affiliate link. This is also an affiliate link. This banking one is an affiliate link. This, this insurance one is an affiliate link as well. So I think building a website and ranking on Google for some of your blog articles is a great strategy. Um, we do have various videos showing you how to build websites on this channel, so you can check those out. Uh, I will also leave that link to Hostinger, which is a WordPress host that you can build a website with for a couple of dollars per month. It is an affiliate link, so I, I do get a little bit of money for it just because we're, we're talking about affiliate marketing, okay? But you don't have to click on it. It does help support the channel. It does help keep these videos free, so I certainly would appreciate it, but you don't have to click on the link if you don't want to, but it would just be centralmedia.com slash hostinger if you wanted to sign up for that uh, website, and so you can start building your website with that. Um, but let's say that you don't want to write a blog. You, you don't want to start with a blog in 2021. Maybe you just feel weird about it because it just sounds strange starting a blog in 2021. By the way, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's not. You can start a blog now and you can still make a lot of money with it. We've done it. We started one in 2019. We started one in 2018. They're making us money, okay? Um, but you can also decide to start a YouTube channel to get traffic. This is my favorite one. Uh, obviously, you know, my personal brand has a million subscribers. I do a lot of affiliate marketing on there. I've made thousands and thousands of dollars with affiliate marketing from my personal brand by promoting those products. Um, not everybody likes to speak to a camera. You don't have to be speaking to a camera. We have YouTube channels where I don't touch it. Um, I, I don't make the videos. Somebody else makes the videos. I basically just run it and I say, hey, you know, I think we should make these videos uh, for next month. And they say, okay, sounds good. They go and they make the videos. I pay them. Uh, and then I make money off of the whole thing because I end up making more money in affiliate commissions from the videos that somebody else makes for me. So you can run it like a business and not even have to be the person who makes the actual videos. I honestly like making the videos. Um, but also one thing to note as well, if you're worried about going the YouTube route, uh, I wouldn't worry too much because a lot of people think, you know, it, it feels weird talking to a camera or they don't think that they're a natural speaker. I am the least natural speaker 
out of anyone. Um, and, and that sounds ridiculous maybe for some people because they think that maybe I'm able to somewhat articulate somewhat because, uh, you, know, you know, we don't script these videos, for example. I'm just talking to a camera here. Um, but I can promise you, my videos when I first started were absolutely horrendous. They were terrible. I had to remove them and delete them because they were just so bad. And maybe if, if I'm up to it, I'll, I'll show you a video right here of, of one of my first YouTube videos. It was just really embarrassing. Thousands and thousands of dollars in a marketing campaign without even taking advantage of some key marketing techniques that every business should be utilizing. Yeah, hope, hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better about starting a YouTube channel because uh, you got to start somewhere. And it, I, honestly, I just cringe when I think about it, but I had to throw it out there because uh, it just, you know, over time you improve with your speaking capabilities and your, your speaking skills. And sometimes, you know, if you mess up, like I just kind of stuttered on my own words there, but you just keep going or you edit it out. It's not a big deal. Um, so starting a YouTube channel, having a blog, those are great ways to get traffic, but there's other things you can do as well. One of them is an Instagram page. Um, I have friends who've built Instagram meme pages specifically that they get tons of affiliate commissions from their swipe up features on their stories on Instagram. The problem here is that you need to have 10,000 followers to be able to get those swipe up features on Instagram. So if you don't have that, or if you think it's gonna take you a really long time for that, um, then that might be somewhat problematic. You could also put a link in your bio as an affiliate link uh, for Instagram pages if you wanna do that. Uh, besides those, another one that I really like that I think is great for getting free traffic is Facebook groups or discords. But the key here is that you have to own this Facebook group or you have to own this discord or maybe this is like reddit or something else uh, the key here is that you really want to be the owner of this uh, of this group that you're in so that you can regulate and make sure that your link you know doesn't get deleted or flagged by other people because you know like if you go into some random Facebook group and you start just blasting your affiliate links to everybody you're gonna get banned nobody likes that like what's this sketchy link right it just looks weird uh, but if you own the Facebook group I have a friend who has a Facebook group uh, about credit cards and it has tens of thousands of people in that Facebook group and every now and again he will go into that Facebook group maybe once a week or uh, every couple of weeks and he will say hey how's everybody doing just found this new credit card uh, they, they just uh, have this new offer I'll leave a link to it right here and he, he places his link and then he pins that at the top of the Facebook group and because it's his group his followers like him they know him they trust him and so they honestly might go and click on that link and then sign up for that credit card uh, because of that so if you do decide to go that group route, uh, just make sure that you own those groups. And also, once again, going back to the basics of what we talked about, keeping a high level of integrity is also very important for something like that. Uh, besides that, you know, anywhere else you can get media or anywhere else you can get followers or eyes on you uh, or on your product or on your business is going to be helpful as well. I have some TikTok friends uh, who've blown up on TikTok and they're able to convert their TikToks into link clicks uh, because in their TikTok, at the end, they'll say, click link in my bio or go and click on the links in my page on TikTok and uh, then people do it, right? And so you can get affiliate commissions through there and you can start to see that pretty much anywhere you can start to make money uh, as long as you have eyeballs and people looking at you or at your brand. It doesn't have to be you specifically. Uh, and I think if you're not really looking to be on camera, then I, I would probably suggest starting a blog or outsourcing this work um, and having other people make videos for you if you don't want to be on camera. But honestly, guys, it's it's honestly kind of fun talking to a camera and making making YouTube videos. So one of my favorite sources of traffic is email marketing. Uh, and so you can collect email accounts from any of your followers, whether this is on your blog or on your YouTube channel or anywhere else where you're getting traffic from. You collect their emails and you can own this email list and you can send these emails out whenever you want with affiliate links in those emails that you send out, right? Um, I know that Morning Brew, for example, this is a company that I believe was valued at $30 million last year and all they do is affiliate marketing. They basically just write emails. They have an email newsletter that comes out Monday through Saturday. They actually sponsor me on my main YouTube channel. Um, but they embed this email newsletter, which is packed with value. Uh, they embed it with different types of affiliate links for different products. And they make money with affiliate marketing. They make millions of dollars with affiliate marketing from an email newsletter that's now worth over $30 million because of affiliate marketing. So consider making an email newsletter and just getting people to sign up for that newsletter uh, through different types of platforms or through making a couple of TikToks, making a couple of YouTube videos um, and getting them onto the, the email 
um, that you can then hit them with the different types of affiliate links, right? So you can see how this is endless opportunities. We have so many other videos on how to gain uh, traffic organically, how to grow YouTube channels, how to grow Instagram pages. I think we have a lot of videos on those topics. So you can go search through our channel um, if you want to check some of those out. All right, so as I was mentioning earlier, it's really crucial to have a blog or to have a website that you can get people to come back to. So if they're finding you on YouTube or they're finding you on TikTok or anywhere else, uh, you want to funnel people back to your website, to your blog, which might also rank for Google search, but also you can use to write articles and to have resource pages like what I do with natobryan.com, looking at the resource page there. Uh, and this is a great way to embed affiliate links and make these nice buttons that people then can then click on. So let me show you super quickly how to make a really good website uh, in about 15 minutes here. Okay, so. Uh, what we use here is Hostinger. You can go to centralmedia.com slash Hostinger. We got you guys a special discount here. This is an affiliate link, which would just make sense because we're making a video about it. Um, so you don't have to use it, but it would help support this channel. If you found some value in this video, we would really appreciate it. But like I said, don't feel pressured to. We're using Hostinger here to build a WordPress website. And this is really inexpensive. So right now, their plans that they have available uh, is for 99 cents per month which is really inexpensive. You're not gonna find anything lower than that. I don't know if this price is gonna go up. Um, right now, it's, it's pretty low. Um, but if you're seeing it right now, if, if you click on the link for centralmedia.com slash Hostinger, if it looks like a different price, that's probably just because it went up a little bit, but it's still gonna be probably one of the best options out there. So we can go ahead and click on this and we can sign up for it. And it will take us through the process of building our website. So we're gonna go with this one right here for 48 months for 99 cents, or you know maybe we want to go for something like one month, just try it out. Um, but for this, this is still pretty inexpensive right here at this option. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go through with purchasing this plan. All right, so I am submitting my info here. This cost me $47 to have a website for two years. Like I said, it's gonna be the cheapest thing you're possibly gonna find uh, for building a website. It took us a long time to find this company. Uh, if you don't like Hostinger, we have another one called SiteGround that we use for some of our websites. Um, and this one's also great as well. It's just a little bit more expensive, but also I find it be a little bit more premium of a service if you're trying to build a website like super fast loading speeds, for example. Um, so here we are with Hostinger. It's now going to have us create a password for the account that we are now creating. So let's go do that right now. Okay, so we've created our password and now we're going through the process of setting up our website. So let's click start now. And they make this really easy to do, uh, to build our blog or to build our website. Now we might wanna have to go and buy a domain because we don't own a domain. It's just like the little thing that says .com on it. So let's try to buy a domain here. Let's say, uh, let's call this one super nutrition, super nutrition guy. And let's see if we have a uh, domain available for this. And it looks like we do, okay? I just made this up on the spot, so it might not be a great domain, uh, but overall, going for .com domains, we find do perform better than things like .net or .biz or some of these other different uh, uh, domains that you might see available. So try to go for that .com if you can. So supernutritionguy.com, well maybe we'll promote some five-star nutrition supplements uh, on this website. Then we can click continue. And then we can decide, do we wanna build a new website or migrate your site? You're probably gonna be building a new site, so click that. Uh, and then have we built a website before? You can say no, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say yes, because I, I have, um, and we can skip over some of the different tutorials there of what they're gonna try to take us through. And then we can go and click on WordPress website. So we're gonna do that now. And I'm, I'm going through this relatively quickly just so that you can get the idea here uh, and hopefully get your site started as well. So let's create a password here for our new WordPress account that we are creating and click continue. And now we can choose a different theme, right? So we have themes on here that we can choose for our affiliate website. Let's say that we really like this one, select this. And then we can finish setting this up right here. So we can click finish setting up. And now it's going to take a couple of minutes to set up, but once it does, uh, our website is, is almost complete. I mean, it is probably gonna be 40% complete here. Um, and so this is gonna take, it says about three minutes to fully set up. So we can skip ahead here uh, once this does this. 
So it did take us a little while to get our domain verified, uh, but we've waited about five to 10 minutes for that. Uh, and now I'm going to click on hosting. And then I'm going to click on manage. And then I'm gonna click on dashboard because we're going to our WordPress dashboard so that we can actually start building out our website. So let me click on this. And then we're gonna go down and click on edit website. Okay, so now that we've clicked on edit website, it's now opening up, it's redirecting to our WordPress dashboard, um, which might look a little bit confusing at first, but this is how you're gonna build your website. Uh, and this is how you're gonna operate everything, okay? So we see supernutritionguide.com. We can actually go and visit the site right here. This is a live website. Our site is up and running. Uh, this is, remember the theme that we just picked earlier uh, in, in this tutorial. Um, so it doesn't look right. I mean, it, it's obviously not what we want it to be, but the theme, the layout maybe is, is how we wanted it to look, right? And so now what we can do with this WordPress website is we can change these words. We can change uh, these different things here and it's, we basically already have something to go off of because I'm assuming you're probably not a web developer. Uh, you probably might not know how to like inject lines of code and I'm certainly not uh, very well versed in that either. And so it's easier to just use a template like this. So this is what our site looks like right now. We can change it up by just going back and clicking on this W right here. It takes us back to our WordPress dashboard. And now we can start to uh, add pages. We can manage these pages, right? Maybe we, um, we want to delete this service page. We can just trash that. Um, we want to create a new page here. Maybe we want to create this and uh, make it something different, right? So we can just um, add new. And we can say that, you know, maybe this page, we want it to be about supplements, right? We can have a whole page about, um, right? We can have a supplements page. We can publish that and that will automatically go onto our website. If we have Elementor already as well, we can edit with Elementor. And this is how we can start to modify our site quite a bit. Now, Elementor is just a plugin um, for WordPress. You can just add this. We, we have tutorials on how to use Elementor. Hopefully we're not confusing you here, but you know, let's say that we wanna make a, a um, uh, an article about best supplements, right? Or on our resource pages, right? So uh, this could be our resource pages right here and we can add something else here and you can see how this drag and drop feature allows us to uh, start to add things on just like that pretty easily we can add some text right here and talk about you know our best things that we like right so text editor and we can start to just write things out just like that and uh, this is basically how you can create a website really easily uh, through WordPress and make it live very quickly for the cheapest amount of, of money. I mean, this is coming out to about 99 cents per month, which is ridiculously inexpensive. Um, so hopefully you found this to be useful. I just wanted to show you the basics of setting this up. We have much longer tutorials showing you how to build websites. I would suggest checking those out. I will leave links to those down below as well uh, so that you can follow along and build a website that looks very professional. If a lot of this WordPress stuff confused you, you can also just go to sandtrailmedia.com slash uh, Squarespace and you can find some good things on there uh, as well. So you go to sandtrailmedia.com slash Squarespace and you can build a website uh, through that. And if you use the code Central Media, you're gonna get 10% off when you use Squarespace as well. And you can build a site here, probably a little bit easier than what you would do with Hostinger, but it might also cost you a little bit more money as well. Um, but this is how you can set up your blog, your website, your landing pages by building a website with one of these. We also have a tutorial on Squarespace if you're interested in checking that out. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. I really hope you found some value. In next week's video, I'm gonna be making a full tutorial on Amazon Associates and how to make money with that. And then the week following that, we're gonna be releasing a video talking about exactly how to build an affiliate marketing website. So be sure to check out both of those videos. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this. And good luck to everyone. I'll see you in next week's video.